Hello everyone, welcome back to Heartline Topics. Karim Adepoju is a popular Yoruba veteran actor. Alaji Karim Adepoju was born in Oshobo in Arikalam compound. He went to Oshobo Modern School and also Quranic School where he completed Quran. He did tailor him before joining Onyade Jobi Theatre Group. He revealed that he joined Onyade Jobi Theatre Group when he was in primary school. He said Baba used to come and teach in the Asaudi Society where he gathered school children to train them in theatre arts. The money they realized was used to pay the staff, those are the imams, the Quranic teachers, because at that time, the government had not taken over. So he made up his mind that he was going to join them. After the actor plays like Adam and Eve, Joseph and his brethren, and many others, this veteran revealed that he spent six months with Duro Ladipo, the late veteran, before joining Onya Dejobi in the year 1963. He started acting fully with Onya Dejobi, where he spent 25 years with him, from 1963 to 1987. Before he started Baba Wandi production, he produced movies like Tulu Anile, Okofula ani owo gbemu agbabiaka sagbadewe omoluabi ashiri bajuma among others baba wandi also produced 30 minutes islamic program sponsored by alaji alawu arishikola on broadcasting corporation of your states what were the challenges he said everything about life has its ups and downs and sometimes when we had outings we would not have enough crowd to watch our performances thus we record low sales after we might have spent much money however television series helped us tremendously who were baba wandi's role models in the industry he mentioned ubat ugunde drew ladipo kola ugumola and uni adejobi so how did he develop his talents in acting? As a stage actor, they used to go on tour to all the parts of the country, including Igbo land and Hausa land. It was in the course of those travels that he began to develop himself in different areas. As a good stage actor, he must be able to act, sing and dance. Back then, Babawande used to lead the group. Many people do not know this, but Babawande is also a prolific writer. He actually wrote the script for all the movies he had produced. He is a playwright, actor, singer, composer, and many other things rolled into one. Before the advent of home videos, they had been acting in stage plays in different places as mentioned earlier. Some of his notable stage plays that he did back in those days include Oruguade Diba, Ekuoloja, Oba Ibalude, and many others. One film came, he acted with Hubert Ogunde in productions such as Aye and Arupin Tenia. He acted with Tawo Hazan Ogogo in movies such as Omo Rukon. Personally, he has written lots of scripts, including Tiolu Anile. How would this veteran describe his style of acting? He thinks it would be better for the viewers to decide that. They are the ones who sees him whenever he is in action. However, he would attribute everything to God Almighty. What qualities must an actor possess to be successful? He was asked this, and this was his response. Firstly, he must be someone who is honest and has integrity. He should also be patient and truthful. He must be ready to learn before he can become a master in the game. Before I became an independent actor, I spent about 25 years under the tutelage of a master. It is your boss that will put you through so many things so that you don't make mistakes. Above all, you must be prayerful and wait for God's time. This was what he said. So what does he consider before accepting any script? He checks the story first. If the story has lessons in it, I would not corrupt people. He believes that at the end of our lives, God would ask everybody what they did with their talents. If one takes part in a film where they parade themselves naked or where there is a lot of violence, that person would answer to God, he said. Let's talk about his personal life. Baba Wande is like most veterans that don't flaunt their children and their wives. But Baba Wande is married to two women and he has been blessed with lots of children and grandchildren. Are any of his children following his footsteps as a thespian? None of them has taken its full time but they do it by the side. They always take part in his productions. So would he encourage them to take it actively? He said yes, he would encourage them but he would want them to conclude their education before venturing into the industry. His son Adewale reveals that Baba Wande is actually a very shy person. When Baba Wande was asked that what are some of the most notable moments of his career, he said, I'm happy that I was able to do all that my peers did. When it was time for me to go on a pilgrimage to Mecca, I went there. When I wanted to travel to other countries such as the United Kingdom, I was able to go. I've also been able to provide quality education for my children. I thank God for his messages. So can you recall some of the memorable experiences he has had with his fans? Wherever I go, I'm always assisted. Whenever I need help, 
in hospitals, banks, or big offices. What does Baba Wande love the most about being an actor? He's happy that he's an actor. He has been able to do things with that talent that God has given him. In his words, my films would always be a record of the things that I did, even when I'm no more. He has been an actor for over 50 years because he celebrated 50 years on stage in the year 2013. What are some of the most important lessons that he has learned over the years? As an actor, we also learn from our movies. The same messages we pass to our audience is what we also gain from. However, I give God the glory for every success I have achieved in my career. I don't think I have done anything special. This was what he said. How has he been able to handle female admirers over the years? He said they like us and we like them too. For those that respect us, we respect them too. So are there any things he wished that he would have done better? I really cannot point to anything that I would want to change. I don't lie and I would never do that. I'm content with whatever I have and I do not pass my boundaries. This was what he said. So is he going to retire as an actor? An actor doesn't retire. There would always be stories and roles suitable for any age. The older you get, the more experience you have. Once you're talented, it can never leave you. So has he ever experienced any disadvantage of stardom? He said yes. People think we are very rich because we are popular. What is Baba Wande's happiest moment? He revealed that my happiest moment in life was when I visited Kaaba in Mecca for the first time. When I saw people like Sands. What are his saddest moments? Nothing makes me sad. I always get over any sad moments because God has been so good to me. Anytime I see anything that can sadden me, I always wave it aside. When I think of what God has done for me, there is no reason for me to be sad. I always thank God. This was what he said. What advice does he have for younger generation in the theater industry? The younger ones should be patient. They might think acting is an ordinary joke or play, but we will all give account of whatever we do to God in the day of reckoning. They should do well at all times. They should not destroy their lives because of money, he said. How would this veteran compare cinema watching and home video? In his words, both of them have their various advantages. We are not able to make cinema anymore because of the economic crisis and we could not have sat down with our arms folded. That was why the home video thing came into existence. So which one is better? Is it the cinema or the home video? I would not say that the cinema is better because it is much more expensive. But the only thing is that when you shoot on cinema, there is no way you can produce a substandard film. But with the home video, you have every Tom, Dick and Harry going into it and coming up with all manners of films that are substandard. I think that half a loaf is better than none. If you cannot afford to shoot a cinema, then we can still make do with the one we have, which is the home video, he said. Baba Wande has been acting for more than 50 years going to 60 years now so how does it make him feel when he sees his fans maybe on the road and they come after him they make me happy i'm happy anytime i see them the only thing that worries me is the orientation they have about artists most of the time they always think that we are rich and that we have money which is actually not the case most of the times once the area boys cite you they'll rush to you telling you that they want to share from your wealth they always have it in their minds that the way we act in movies is the way things are in real life, but it is not so at all. That is the only regret I have on that, he said. When he started his career and when he got married, I was able to combine his role as an actor and a family man, especially when their kids were very young. There is no problem with that at all. Whenever I have jobs to do, I do it. And if it requires me traveling to do it, when I'm done with the job, I return home to my family. They know the type of job I am doing and they understand it. So I do not have any problem at all with my family because they know the challenges of the job I'm into, he said. So as any of the movies that he has acted in over 50 years, close to 60 years now, has any of them been particularly challenging? I'm yet to find one that actually challenges me. I did most of them with ease. Whenever I'm on the stage, I just flow naturally as I'm playing, he said. His greatest career wish is to establish a standard film village in Ocean State that will be used by practitioners within and outside the state. He dedicated this 2015 movie, Ababiaka, to the former governor of Lagos State, Baba Sunde Raji Fashola. The movie that shot Baba Wande to the limelight is Tiolu which is a 1993 movie. We have come to the end of this episode on this veteran actor, Karim Adipoju, who is popularly known as Baba Wande. We hope you enjoyed this episode and next one or two new things. Subscribe and hit the bell icon for our daily content.